The PCB board used in this video is sponsored by the PCBA company. The Gerber files of the ESP32 power supply PCB board can be downloaded from the PCBA official website. You can find a link in the description. In my previous tutorial on the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module by the Espressive Systems, I explained the extreme basics including the pinout, Arduino IDE board manager installation and how to control an LED using the Blink application. While performing the basic experiments, you can use your laptop to power up the ESP32 module and you can make temporary connections using a breadboard. After you are done with all the testing and you are satisfied with your programming, finally a time comes when you realize that it seems quite impractical to power up the ESP32 module using a laptop and moreover you cannot use a breadboard for the final connections. So this video is all about how to make your own regulated power supply board for the ESP32 module. This power supply board can also be used as the development board. As you can see I have added the male and female type headers due to which you can easily interface the ESP32 module with different types of sensors and other electronic devices. I have also added some extra holes where you can directly solder sensors, wires from other electronic devices and so on. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this video can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the regulated 5 volts power supply based on the famous LM7805 voltage regulator. You might be thinking where is the ESP32 module in this schematic. I will explain this in a minute. Let's first discuss the power supply. J1 is a female power jack and this is where we connect a 12 volt adapter, battery or a solar panel. At the input and output of the voltage regulator, two 470 microfarad electrolyte capacitors are used. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 2.5 volts LED. This is a current limiting resistor. A 12 volt wire is also connected with the SV9, which can be used for powering up the relays and other 12 volts supported electronic components. SV1 to SV15, these are basically the male and female headers. The reason you cannot see the ESP32 module over here is that because the ESP32 library is not available in the Gatesoft Eagle. So I had to manually connect the wires while making the PCB. Let's have a look at the PCB design. I have already explained the PCB designing. You can find a link in the description. 12 volts from the female power check J1 are connected with the input leg of the voltage regulator. 470 microfarad capacitor and SV9. A ground wire from the female power check is connected with the ground legs of the capacitors, middle leg of the voltage regulator with the headers, cathode pin of the LED and ground pin of the ESP32 module. The output leg of the 7805 voltage regulator is connected with the headers. 330 ohm resistor and also with the 5 volt pin of the ESP32 module. While 3.3 volts from the ESP32 are connected with the headers. The red and blue traces represent the top and bottom sides of the PCB. In this area you can solder male or female headers or you can directly solder different sensors. This is totally up to you for what purpose you are going to use this area. The PCB quality is really great. The silk screen is quite clear and the Blake solder mask looks amazing. I'm 100% satisfied with their work. The Gerber files of the PCB board can be downloaded from the PCBWay official website. You can find a link in the description. 
Now let's start the soldering. As you can see, we are done with the soldering. And this is how the final ESP32 power supply board looks like. Using these male and female type headers, we can easily connect male to male, male to female, or female to female time jumper wires. The 12 volts, 5 volts, 3.3 volts, and ground wires can be distributed from here. Over here we can connect different types of sensors. This ESP32 power supply board is ready for the testing. In all my upcoming ESP32 IoT based projects I'll be using the same ESP32 power supply and development board. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode. And thanks for watching.